What's up everyone? Doing a, a radiator on a 96 Honda Civic. The uh, single overhead cam engine, not the VTEC. I don't know if it would be much different with the VTEC engine, but basically here's the radiator right here. Um, <clears throat> I gotta drain the coolant. I'm gonna try to do it without lifting the vehicle up. Basically what's gonna happen is I gotta come down here. And uh, that skid plate right there, I'm going to remove that to get access to the um, lower hose and maybe the drain for the radiator. So basically, uh, right here is a 10 millimeter, and it's like this tab part. And then over down here, there's a spot for a 10 millimeter as well. So I got them out already. And it looks like there's going to be one on the side over here holding it. So, if you look through the wheel right here, there's a 10 millimeter right there you gotta get out. Probably on, this, on the other side as well. So I got that 10 millimeter out. And this is uh, kind of freeing up this skid plate a little bit. I'm gonna go do the other side, and then it should come off. Here's the other side. Okay. Got that out. And then once the bolt's out, you can just kind of pull this pop it off. Oh, it looks like there's one right here too. So there's three across the center and then two, one on the left side and one on the right side to get the skid plate off. Alright, so that's dropped down enough to be able to come out, or at least be out the way. And on the driver's side, there's actually two bolts, two tens. I turn the wheel, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this other one out. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Now that's out the way. I have a box I'm gonna be using just for like kind of like a drip pan. As you can see, I still got some stuff coming down already, so I'm just gonna throw this under here, like that, and then uh, that'll catch any of the any stuff that falls, like loose coin or whatever. Um, obviously, when you drain the radiator or the uh, or pull the lower hose, uh, some coolant's gonna come out, so you gotta have something down there to catch it. I just got that to catch other stuff like oil or whatever, so I don't get on my driveway. I'd recommend the same. Okay, so if you're doing this on a uh, without a jack, uh, I just kind of got like a makeshift pan. Um, but basically, what you want to do is you want to come underneath here, and um, your your uh, radiator drain. Uh, sorry for the blurriness. It's right here. This little thing. You're gonna twist this to open it like that. Just twist it. And then uh, when it's twisted open, let that drain all the coolant out, just like that. To help it drain faster, you can take the cap off. And what that does, ugh, I think it's on there tight. Okay, what that does is that lets uh, the atmospheric pressure push the coolant out. Because when you have this on, it just kind of, it has it in like a vacuum. So we'll let that drain out for a little bit. All right, so this drain about as good as it's gonna get. So I'll go ahead and close this up, and uh, I'm gonna go dump this coolant away. Coolant is a biohazardous waste, so please recycle it properly. Um, you know, just the right thing to do. All right, so I got that. Actually, it'd be better to pull this lower hose now with the pan down here. So here's the lower hose right here. I, I know this is real oily and messy, it's hard to see, but this clamp right here is for the lower hose. You squeeze this and pull it up, and then we can pull the hose off. So it's this hose right here that I'm touching. Uh, this isn't a hose right here, this is like a suspension part. So let's get that clamp off. Just squeeze it, move the clamp upwards, and then you can pull the hose off after it's out the way. 
squeeze this, move it up. Okay, I got the clamp moved up, and I'm probably going to replace this clamp. Um, but yeah, once the clamp's up, you can just kind of pull this hose up. And uh, some coolant should come out. Okay, nope. Alright. So I'm going to put this over here so you can kind of see. Put that over there. That's what it looks like without the hose. Now we got this one right here. And my finger's touching. That's an ATF line. Uh, same thing. has a clamp on it. Squeeze that clamp. Move it out the way. You get the line off. These can be kind of stubborn. And there's one down the way right there too. There's two of them. Those are ATF cooler lines. Um, when you pull those, a little bit of ATF will come out of the hose. Try to save it from coming out the hose, but don't worry about it when it's coming out the radiator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get those off too right now. So as you can see, I squeezed the clamp and I moved it up. Um, I'm going to wait until I get this uh, the fan out. I think I could pull these off from the top easier since I didn't jack up my car. But I got the clamps off both of them. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the top now. So basically, when we go to get this out, uh, let's put the cap somewhere safe right there. A lot of new radiators don't come with caps. Um, when we go to get this out, we gotta disconnect the fan from it and move this hose. So we're gonna have reaching room to reach down there and get pull stuff off. So if you're having trouble down there getting them off, don't worry about it. Let's uh, get all this top stuff off and we'll see if we can get a better grip, a uh, more convenient grip from the top. Uh, so this one, let's see, let's just come up. Okay, this just slides up. There's a little, this just slides down in place and locks, but you can pull it up. Um, I'll get get the hose off for it. Yours probably won't have a hose clamp. These usually don't have a hose clamp, but if it does, just whatever clamp you got, remove it, and we'll remove this hose. Just go ahead and remove this. You can just set this, you know, to the side for now. This whole thing can just come out. We'll set that over here. Then we're gonna take our upper hose off. I think we can get away with just undoing this side. We'll pull it off and set it to the side, but if it's not a big deal, you could just take this clamp and take it off and take the whole thing out. Uh, whatever you wanna do. Just go ahead and loosen this clamp and uh, you don't have to remove it all the way. And then with these, you can just kinda twist and pull off like that. And like I said, if you just want to tuck it over here for now, that's fine. Or if you want to take the whole thing off, that's fine too. Um, let's see here, we have our fan connector. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. This is like a little tab right here. You just push this and then pull it apart. Go ahead and get that separate. And then uh, let's go ahead and take this fan out. Uh, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Let's go ahead and get those off. I should loosen it up like that and then coming from underneath there's a 10 millimeter right here that you got to get out so we'll go and get that out all right so I got that one out this little square part came out with it uh, save that and then looks like there's another 10 millimeter right there so we gotta get that out too all right, let's get this one out. Now, same thing, this 10 millimeter bolt came out, as well as this guy, so save these. Now this should come out. Just like that, put that there. And then there's a radiator. Let's go ahead and get this mount off right here, this 10 millimeter. Actually, before that, maybe we should go ahead and pull these uh, these lines off down here. These are the ATF cooler lines.
Okay, so here's my new radiator. But good idea is to match it up. And uh, this is a, uh, a Duralast. There's the number A1290. Got it from AutoZone. I think it was like 79 bucks with a lifetime warranty. <clears throat> Comes with these. These are like the ATF line. Um, what are they called? Like pipes that hook up right here and right here. You just take these caps off, or these things out like that, and you put them on like that and that. And uh, also comes with like some screws and some hardware. But all right, let's go ahead and get it, get it in and set it up. I'm gonna go a little faster now because it's going back in. Let's make sure that our grommets, these might have been on your old radiator. Let's get these in place. If they're a little, uh, you know, worn out or deformed, that's kind of natural. Okay, we'll get those in place and you'll drop the radiator very gently right into those. I'll hold it in place. I'll just go ahead and take the caps off and everything off right now. Okay, so I gently put it in. I made sure it's in the grommets and then I slid. This goes underneath here a little bit. So I kind of went in from like an angle, got it in. Okay, now that this is in, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the bottom hose and the, um, the lines for the ATF. And also, I'll make sure, I'll give this a little turn just to make sure it's tight. Don't try to over super tight it because you might break it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Yeah, I forgot to mention, don't forget to put your new ATF cooler line. Um, I guess these are like the little pipes. Don't forget to put these on. I just use a wrench. Just cinch them down tight. They don't got to be make it tight. Uh, these radiators, they're easy to break. So just be careful. Okay, guys. So we got the uh, lower hose hooked up. We got these this cooler line hooked up for the ATF and this cooler line hooked up for the ATF. Just make sure your clamps are on good. I put a new hose clamp on here and um, you know after you have it started and running and maybe keep an eye on them, make sure they're not leaking or gonna pop off. I've seen a lot of times guys make mistakes on these ones. They'll put this clamp too high up um, and then it'll pop off. This clamp is supposed to go uh, in front of that wedge or that um, I forget the name of it, but basically on the pipe there's that end piece that flares. You need to have this clamp on behind the flared part. Okay, those are good. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put the uh, fan in. Okay, so I put my fan in. I had to use the new brake hardware. I mean the uh, hardware that came with the, the radiator. Those little squares, you drop them in here. There's a spot to drop them. You drop them in and then you put your bolts in. Um, you could just do the tops. I believe first and then you could do the bottoms so it'll hold it in place something to pay attention to these bolts that you use right here you need to be real careful not to use a long bolt what do I, why do I say that well say I had this bolt right and I went to run it in right here and you see how it's really long this could easily just screw right into this top uh, tank I've done it before I've seen other guys do it so make sure you use your short bolts on these on these um, fan mounts I uh, got my new I mean got, got my hose on just tighten it back down right here um, reconnected my fan electrical connector and now I'm gonna put the reservoir back in and run the reservoir hose right here all right drop my reservoir and the reservoir just drops in and slides into that little slot right there this should it should be kind of firm and secure put the hose right here um, I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna go ahead and put the skid plate back on um, off camera. I'm not gonna force you to watch me do that. And uh, after that, we'll just fill it up and uh, start it and see how it goes. Okay, so I kind of went ahead a little bit. I have this funnel tool that connects to this and I filled it with coolant. I got OEM Honda coolant, so I'm just letting it run and that's gonna fill up and any bubbles that come out, it'll come out. Um, I have the heater on. The heater helps circulate the uh, coolant because it'll run it through the heater lines. So uh, while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and just put my my mount back right here. And um, I think that's about it. I don't think there's any other really bolts. Um, just check your pile, make sure you don't have anything left over. And um, you know, take it for a test drive. And that's about it guys, so hopefully this video helped you out. I'm sure if you got this far, uh, you should be kind of have a grasp on how to handle it. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.